Um, hey there. Uh, about to give this uh, another go. Uh, I've already posted one video up. Uh, I was using uh, Germany playthrough on King. This is going to be another attempt, maybe at a smaller one. To be honest, I haven't thought this. Uh, sorry about that. I haven't thought this 100% through. But let's see. Um, we can do King, we can do Emperor. We'll try Emperor, and this is really going to be a lot harder. I'll do random. I might lose. This might end up being a few hour video. We'll see. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Uh, but here we go. Uh, I hate micromanaging, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, plop down wherever they put me. It looked pretty, looks pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, again, just go for my standard. Um, run at the pan uh, at my shrine for a pantheon. Look for some ancient ruins. Uh, I know some people micromanage. I've actually, never tested this out, but they tend to lock things on because you get some type of carryover from when your city grows. I do it sometimes at the beginning, but well, and maybe against Emperor because. The computer does get a bunch of extra perks off the get-go, um, but yeah, I tend not to not to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and build a build a monument. Ugh. I picked random, but I forgot to look at what Morocco. This is Morocco. Great. Um, yeah, Morocco. I forgot to look at what their perks are. I haven't used every sieve. I've only used some. Um, but yeah, I think it has to do something with trade routes. Uh, but we'll go from there. Just found some culture in that ancient ruin. And a lot of times, you go next turn and it'll let you pick it now. But if you're ever over the amount, you can always click on the culture and it'll actually let you pick your uh, ideology. Uh, I don't know if I should. I'm gonna just gear down and go as if this is gonna be a longer game. Uh, I adopt a tradition. Tradition really sets you up for growth, and in general, growth is a great idea because growth directly leads to having higher science, depending what you pick, and yeah, just ends up being extremely helpful. Both growth, happiness, science, and really. In my in my eyes, for the time that I put in, really just playing against the computer, uh, not really much against other people. But uh, growth and science tend to be the most important things. So I'll try to get the library again. It's essential to get the National College early. Just some. That's just my strategy, kind of from what I picked up. Um, it's a 50% boost when all your cities have a library, so, I mean, that's, that's extremely helpful and beneficial. Um, yeah, so you want to get it early. I am going to try to find the other Civ pretty quickly. Ugh, it looks like I've gone the wrong direction. Looks like they're going to be down south, but no worries. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like this ends here. Uh... But yeah, we'll just continue on, and it should be fine. I got my Pantheon, because I met a Faith city-state, so they've given me 8 Faith, which is enough for a Pantheon, which is perfect. I will steal that 30% increase for range or combat from your, from your cities. Uh, let's go ahead and get in some good food already. Actually, let's go, uh, let's do a worker. Just lock that in. A couple more turns for growth. That'll be really good. Lhasa, do they want... This is another thing you can do. It is part of my later game strategy. And again, strategies differ from many points. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave those barbarians because I need to find the other sieve. And yeah, uh, sorry to me to get off track, but... Um, yes, I want to find the other Sith because I do want to try to destroy them earlier. Like, uh, if you did see my last gameplay, 
uh, this duel, really it's about getting ahead of them and getting in front of it. And if you don't, then you're just gonna have a bigger sieve to bigger sieve to try to destroy. So this is my goal. Ugh. There we go. Also find some ancient ruins. Um let's see. will attack this barbarian because he's getting close to my city. He probably will go in and try to stop me from getting perks, which is exactly what he's doing. Ugh. He has survived, but that's fine. I will now get 22. Turn 40, although I'm pretty sure I will increase production, which would be a decent run to go for get an extra technology, but they are an emperor, so there's a very great chance that they'll get it before I do. I'm gonna make one extra warrior. Dang it. This is why you probably don't want to put your um, workers on automatic, even though there is it's less management, which is just nice and convenient. Um, but because the barbarian was close, my I lost a turn with my worker there. Yeah, just because automatically they decided, oh, they were at risk of being taken by the barbarian, and therefore it just stayed completely still. Um, yeah, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, but now I guess we lose. This is actually a lot more important in this stage of the game against Emperor, because Emperor is no joke. And, yeah, I'm not an expert by any means. Um, but I've put in some decent amount of time playing, so I do have an idea of how how to play. Um, again, though, I mostly focus on uh, how long things take, to be honest. And, really, I like to put in, make a, a quick game, a long game quicker. So those are my goals, is really to try to end this game as quickly as possible. Maybe there's definitely a better strategy to do that. Um, but, and that's my attempt. But I don't go overly crazy on micromanaging everything. Ugh, barbarian coming. I'm, that barbarian, if he traveled, that's, uh, that's frustrating that a barbarian would travel so far and skip everything just to get to my city and now he's gonna pillage shit god damn it uh, that's I don't know where they're coming from maybe another one spawned here which is very possible that I might have left uh, and this is already we're off to a very terrible start and I hate to be the people who respawn just to start a game over, so I'm gonna play this through. <laughs> this is this as opposed to a quick game, though it's probably gonna turn quickly into a into a very long and very tedious game. Uh, oh man! If yeah, oof. maybe it won't be so long if I get beat very quickly, but I guess we'll find out. This is crazy. I'm gonna get attacked by both of them. Of course I would. I definitely have to heal. They would have taken me out if I didn't. Uh, I'm already up to six population. Good rule of thumb. I heard this. On, I can't give. Maybe it was. I forget his name. But he's probably the number one strategy guy on YouTube for Civ. Ugh. Uh, Marbrazar. I forget his name. But around when you get around four populations, when you want to build a second settler, and that's getting a little bit deeper into the strategy. But I had really quick uh, growth, don't have very good happiness. But um, I think I could get away with that. Actually, I don't have much production, so I would have to switch over my production. I'll show you why in a second. Uh, yeah, we'll go with settler. So when you're building a settler, you automatically don't make any food. So you do want to 
um, put as many of your citizens on production. Now, just simply putting on production isn't enough. They actually literally did won't put some of your guys on production, which is seems pretty crazy. But I have gone from let's see, I think it was eight turns to make a settler down to five. I do have one extra settler. I could just unemploy him. Still down to five. I could buy a tile. Seems like a good bargain. Still five turns. So probably should have picked a better tile to buy, but I wanted to production. Um, so yeah, we were saving a few turns just because either way we wouldn't be able to use any food. So you do want to switch those things over. Oh, I thought that was a barbarian. So let's go there. We'll heal. This is also why, well, I, I think I might have left Raging Barbarians on. Maybe I didn't. I'm not sure if the settings save. But they're already causing some issues, and that's one thing that you would hope, or it's probably one of the toughest things at the very beginning, if you are beginning, is you need to have an, a strategy, really just make a couple of warriors, and I should have left one warrior here earlier, to be able to protect your city and your workers from getting pillaged. So, but in, now because I was distracted, I've lost a scout. I almost lost a warrior, but losing things at the beginning is very costly. It's not the worst thing, it's not the end of the world, but it's something you want to try to avoid. And this guy's quickly becoming overpowered, or seems <laughs> getting surrounded. Um, great library, seven turns. I'm tempted to go for it. And I will. They've already gotten that 10. That would have been pretty huge. Uh, my rule of thumb for... Oh, actually, and explain why I settling right where I did, and I didn't really give it a second thought. They've actually put me in a really good spot. You want to try to settle on top of a hill, if possible. You can move your settler early on. Uh, I never do, just because... Unless there's an obvious place where I can move one spot, and it still be my first turn. Um, but there's benefit from settling on top of a hill. You get one extra production. Um, they put me next to a river, which gives you extra food or extra food along those tiles. Um, I think might be lying. Yeah, you, you, you probably have to build the water the water mill. Yeah, city must be next built next to a river. So this water mill early on is actually pretty huge. Um, it's a lot of extra production, a lot of extra food. Especially here when I'm upgrading this um, this cattle, so it'll go up to four as soon as I upgrade it. Once I build the watermill, it should be at five. So this city is actually it's very well placed, very well positioned to um, to do really well. Uh, and they put me next to a mountain. And when you build next to a mountain later on, I think it's astronomy. You can build an observatory only if the city was built next to a mountain and I think there might be some leeway as to how close you are but I'm pretty sure you have to be right next to it and that gives you 50% uh, boost in science from that city which will be huge because this is my main city this is my capital so I will have to I will have a lot of science come from the city uh, to build my second city I really want to build yeah getting back to that near a river, near a mountain, on a hill. It's obviously the best thing. And you want to have good resources. On top of that, you want to have uh, normally a unique luxury resource. And in this case, if I build up here, I won't have a unique luxury resource, which is kind of a little bit annoying. Um, same over here. City will eventually grow there in the very long run. Leaning towards going over here, maybe taking that. Really, this is just gonna end up having to double up on a on a resource, which is is fine. Oh, so one thing you can't forget is once you've once you've built your settler, don't starve your city. That was uh, that could be very costworthy. Uh, but we're doing production 10.5. Uh, looks like we're oh so I've left the production focus on default uh, great library is 
this is a production rush so hopefully I can get it if not hopefully I get some good gold for it so that's the idea this is looking like it's shaping up to be a like I'm about to dig in I'm about to dig in my feet my claws my toes uh, for a longer Civ game here so maybe that's good maybe that's bad I don't know but I have built my second city I've lost four happiness after having built it. You lose happiness when uh, you can always hug, hover over all of these. Uh, and I should, I try to be pretty even across. I always want to have good gold. I want to get my trade routes out. Have good happiness. This is the one I probably ignore the most because it kind of just goes along with happiness. Um, definitely try to have good culture, tourism. I just kind of, as it goes. Uh, faith. We will go into and then our strategic resources, which I guess we only really have horses, but we don't have any horses. Uh, I will start building a, a library because now that I've built the library, I can't build my national college here. Now that I've built a city, I can't build my national college here. And uh, maybe a water mill. Maybe I could purchase a library later. Water mill's more important, and this is my second city. Actually, they're both pretty important. I don't think I can go wrong with either one. Um, but yeah. Don't think I'm explaining anything, everything too well. Besides giving you quick thoughts into my mind. Because at the same time, <laughs> I'm trying to play the game. And I get very into the games. And yeah, this is kind of just uh, free, w free will. Just kind of trying to bring this out. Um, and now... I normally ignore notifications. I just happen to know that because the barbarian encampment lit up that now Lhasa wants me to destroy this encampment, which is great because that'll give me influence over them and if you become allies, no, oh, even friends, if friends and then allies with city-states, it, uh, eh, they give you, they gift you things. They gift you, you get happiness, you get culture, you get faith. Uh, and you get some of the science in the end if you go through a certain, uh, if you go through the patronage social policy, social policies, uh, branch of the, of that tree. Um, I will attack them. Mining, again, I'm not going for anything in particular, I probably should, but, um, uh, I, have to, I have a feeling these guys are going after this worker here, which is annoying. And there they go. Um, I probably want to get up some trade routes. I'm pretty sure I benefit from trade routes. I could look it up, but ugh, too much work. So this one I have thought about, even though it is recommended, so I could have Chose, chose any of the four, but uh, it gives me. Oh, let's see. I really want Caravansary, which lets my trade routes go further and gives me more. Ah, uh, that's actually up here. Hmm. Bank Mint Petra. Well, I also want Petra because that gives me extra trade routes, so I need Petra. And maybe I can build it in this second city. Who knows? I will now. Ah. Uh, there. there. Happiness has gone up, which is fantastic. I've gotten my free technology, which is great. So normally when I get a free technology, I try to pick the... Unless I really have an idea of which one I want, I just pick the one that costs the most science. So I'm currently doing currency, so I've done 23 out of 129. Looks like... 129 is the most expensive uh, technology. Which means it would take me eight turns to do. These other ones I could do in three turns. So this is even if I need it or not, I'm gonna go ahead and get it because it saves me eight turns. That's just how I kind of uh, just get myself on board with that decision. Uh, it makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you. Go ahead and you know leave some comments as to what you would do. Um, yeah, what are they asking for? Production now in Marrakesh. Now this is where I get a little bit greedy, is where I want to start just spamming wonders. Because I have good production in the city, and these all seem in reach. Actually, I am going to try to get 
hanging gardens. This will again help me get a larger city, which will help me uh, with uh, science in the future. So, you gotta love science. Science, in my experience, science is what lets you get to any type of victory. Science lets you get to a military victory. Science lets you get to a um, uh, to a cultural victory, really, and really probably diplomacy. Mm. Yeah, but uh, technology seems to. If you have great science, you can get any type of victory you want. Uh, but it doesn't go the other way around, except for maybe warmongering. But you'd have to attack early. Um, but even then, when you're warring, the better technology you have, uh, the easier it is to destroy whoever you're fighting. And I've ignored this. I've ignored. Oh, but I don't know why they're all dying. I've ignored this guy. He's been healing for ages now. And, um. I'm surprised, actually. I do need to make a decision that if this guy runs over here. Um. Luckily, the, all these barbarians are dying. Surrounded by four, I thought my warrior was definitely done for. Oh, and a little comment on this city. I did decide to build on the coast. Probably could have chosen a better place to build, but I wanted next to the coast and the river. This will let me build some boats, which hopefully actually will be, and now that I think about it, will probably be the way I defeat um, whoever the AI is that I'm playing against. There we go. Build something. I think I just, I, I just cut down, the reason I made this into a mine, I cut down the forest. And uh, when you cut down a forest, it gives you production. And since it's a new city, I want to send all the production towards whatever it's building because it has really low production right now. And uh, that'll help me build up the city a little bit quicker. Um, and plus, I make a mine, which is great. Mines are always good. Uh, I think I have some decent food sources here. I can upgrade this uh, fish. And in the end, I could send some food to that city. Oh man, this thing is just the spawn of the world here. This is gonna be probably another another good place to to build once I've cleared this encampment out. I need to protect this area. There we go. Um, finished the watermill. So this city will actually grow a lot quicker now. Oh. Could try to just go ahead and build Petra. Just have it build here eventually, because I am next to a desert. Is this one can I build Petra? I can as well. So never mind. I won't build Petra here in the second city. Uh, let's see. I will build. And I will build a library. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Ah, so whoever the AI is, they've built Statue of Zeus, which. Hmm, to be honest, I never really pay attention to what they build, unless it's something that I'm trying to get as well. Uh, which, in this case, um, I wasn't trying to get the Statue of Zeus, although it would have been helpful if I was already getting ready to war. But it does make me a little bit hesitant, thinking that they are trying to attack somebody, or they're <laughs> maybe they've already found me, I don't know. I haven't seen them. But their intention is to attack me. Uh, very possible. Uh, I will build. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Petra. There probably is some more thought here as to what the AI is building as opposed to what I'm building and how much I've researched. But I'm just gonna go with my gut here and just try to build Petra, even though it might be available for me if I could build a different wonder. But I think that should be fine. Ah, very nice. I've built another mine, more production. Let's improve this quarry. I think things are going well. I am not keeping up with my original strat of um, making this a quick game, but um, hopefully. I can make this a useful game for other people to watch. 
So, again, I picked random. I have, I don't, this actually might be the first time I play with, uh, with Morocco. I know I've thought about it before, but I can't say that I ever did. Now I need to take full advantage of what I'm, what their, what their perk is, and I'm pretty sure it has to do with trade runs. So I am building Petra, because, well, Petra in general is good. It gives me, well, let's read it, plus one, plus one food for every desert tile being worked. And a caravan appears in the city, plus six culture, once archaeology is discovered. And it must be built next to a desert, so uh, it probably would have been a little bit more useful here. But I wanted to build it right away, plus it gives me one extra trade route. Uh, so that's good for Morocco. Um, and yeah. I need to get these two other trade routes out as well. Uh, but that's why I'm destroying this barbarian encampment. Because they're only going to spawn more barbarians and I need to get rid of it. Plus, Lhasa would appreciate it if I did. Because uh, barbarian encampments, they spawn in shadows. So you either have to make sure those shadows are discovered or have someone standing there. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be how it works. Uh, market. I'm okay with gold. I could do a shrine so I can get a little more faith so I can get a great profit. So, get a great profit around 150 faith at two per turn. It's going to take, what, about 70 turns? Which is not really good, I think. But if you click on the faith and you go to world religions, two can be found. So, we'll both get a religion. Um, but having first first pick is, is obviously very nice. Um,. You know what? I'm gonna build a trireme so I can discover the oceans and go find out where this guy is or where this lady is. Uh huh. There we go. Choose my research. Let's get Great Wall. I know the computer loves to build the Great Wall. Been experienced from before, uh, and that really puts a damper on destroying the computer. Ugh, this guy's coming over here. And so, I definitely want to get the Great Walls just so that the computer doesn't get it. Because it, maybe it's not necessary, but I find it so annoying when I can only move one tile in their land. Um, so, I will be doing that. I need a, so many things that I want to build. Uh, oh, and the Terracotta Army. I'd probably be well off just building it now so that, the, again, the AI doesn't get it. Let's build a composite bow. Uh, I feel pretty safe about sending this caravan to Lhasa, start getting some gold. Fantastic. And I'm pretty sure they had a number scene. Yeah, here we go. Quests. So, next turn, uh, Lhasa will be my ally. So they'll probably gift me probably some extra faith, maybe even some of their luxury resources I don't have, like, uh, like the clams there. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy this guy. Whoa. They are a lot stronger than I thought. Uh, I think my guy might be done for. Is there something else that shot me? How did he lose so much health? Uh, yep, and there you go. Sometimes I play like a baboon. And I, I have some time invested into this game, but... That uh, doesn't mean I don't get lazy or... Don't play like a baboon sometimes. If I heal, I'm gonna get up to 37 health. I could survive an attack from one of them, but I'm probably not gonna survive an attack from both. So I'm gonna go ahead and risk it that both of them got me down to this health, that there's no one over here, and that the horseman will go towards my city and the axeman will not attack me. It's a big risk. But either way, I think uh, he definitely would have died if I left him in that spot. And 26. Oh man, he still yeah, they both attacked me anyways. Um Yeah. There it is. It's a bit disappointing. Again, that you wanna protect your people as much as you can. Oh I need to build over here. I need to build another settler. You wanna protect your assets really as much as you can early on. Um because now I have to build another warrior. And it just Ah, it's a big setback. It really is a huge setback. Um, but yeah, now that that's done, what are you going to do? 
Uh, what am I looking for over here? Two happiness. You know what? I might go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a shot at uh, faith here. We're gonna do Stonehenge, which will get me quick. Get me to uh, religion more quickly, and actually get me plus five. Um, plus five. Uh, faith per turn. Now here we go again, building a cellar. So you wanna spam your your production tiles. There you go. That means I'll get this settler in four turns. Ah, four turns. I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Seven citizens, stagnation. Ah, what are you gonna do? So let's. I need to get this. Um this ancient ruin and I need to clear this area out because these barbarians are getting a little bit ridiculous to handle there we go I'm gonna stay here just in case so that these barbarians don't uh, just go ahead and jump in the water although even if they do I can take them out that's fine I need to get this guy a little bit closer um, here we go. Reset the tiles. Is that on production? Still nice. So did I get the... And then, I do this very quickly, but I'm pretty sure I got... Ah, there we go. I did get Hanging Gardens, and the reason that's huge is because now I can keep this on production focus, and my city's still going to be growing very quickly. So... That's pretty huge. I don't know where this barbarian is coming from. Where did you come from? This is going to be a barbarian camp right here. Um, he's going to try to take my trade route. He's two steps away. This is very frustrating. Uh, let's just go ahead and build a spearman. This guy's going to follow up to this way because I want. It. Even though it might not be the best area, I will get a clams. It will be a mountain. So, and you do want to get three cities out relatively quickly. I don't do it very quickly. I kind of just take it as it comes, but, um, yeah, I'm not in the biggest, biggest rush here. Oh, man. Hopefully, he doesn't get in the way right now. Oh, fantastic. He decided to shoot me, so I will take him out. There we go. Let's take him this way. Uh, let's see, what can I build now? Stonehenge. Did I get Stonehenge? I always forget. I don't check these things. Ah, no. Stonehenge was built in a faraway land. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, I could be doing some of these other ones. I'm going to be stubborn and go ahead and try to get another... Uh, like the Oracle, can't say it's the best, but if my second city builds it, I'll get a free social policy plus a little bit extra culture. Even if the AI builds it before me, I'm not going to be too upset. I'll get some gold. Maybe I'll buy a building. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build the Terracotta Army. I should build my caravans. Uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. I should build my National College as well before I settle this guy. Uh-oh. How does the National College work? Yeah. I need to build it before I settle this guy. So, hopefully, I can do that before I settle. It's going to be a few turns before I get there anyways. Uh, there we go. Just scout the land a little bit more. These hand axe men are going to try to get me. Good to go there, actually. Let's see. Uh, build a road. At this point, this is around the time where I stop micromanaging everything and I just let the computer do what it does very poorly because they, they suck at what they do. But, uh. But yeah. Here we go. So I just. I get annoyed. I like to skip through turns very quickly. And. Uh, oh. Very nice. That's. Meh. I like to think that's pretty huge. But I'm nowhere near. The AI and yeah, uh, but yeah, it's nice. I'm not upset about it. Uh, let's send this guy here. Now two turns away. Uh, yeah, actually this is gonna be looks like the spot to build at top of a hill. 
I'll be in range of this. Uh, I'll probably buy that tile because it has two food. Um, it's a pretty great spot. Hmm. World's most fed people, so eh, they're feeding their people better than me. I don't know if that's a bit. Eh, we're pretty close. Let's just go search this area real quick. Make sure it's not a area that's a hundred times better. Um, and I'm pretty happy. I'll be in range of the clams. Eventually in range of this iron. I'll do it. So that the computer, the AI doesn't, uh, oh, snaps. I didn't think about it. So I've now stopped myself from building the National College because this city does not have a library. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. How much does the library cost? 300. There we go. Fixed. Now, mm, probably don't recommend doing that, but I'm just, yeah, whatever. I want this National College, and I want it now. So, went ahead and spent the 300 I had saved on that. It's not the worst thing. Actually, it's probably was, yeah, actually might be the right decision. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and go with a granary. Coliseum. And 34 turns, I'll get some happiness and maybe I'll be really happy about that decision. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this guy. This is the most snaky city ever, or land ever. Ah! Did not mean to do that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Very good. Very, very good. You know what? The reason I'm going with this one as opposed to these other ones is I know from just experience, experience that I find annoying, eventually I will get a free technology for one reason or another. And sometimes the recommendations all lead me down a path of which I leave one branch really empty. And I'll get a free technology and the only technology I can discover is one that's worth one turn. And that return of free technology to me is just annoying. So two turns for technology, I feel like that has as much merit as anything else. Um, as yeah, anything else that they can recommend. So, uh, here we go. Oh, my happiness is low. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and crank out. Oh, actually, I can't even crank out these caravans just because I can only send one caravan per. I could have different cities send them, which is what I probably will do. Actually, hmm. what am I building for? for my main capital. See, so now I'm at the point where I could build a Great Wall, but I'm probably going to attack whoever I'm playing against through the water, so I don't need the Great Wall anymore. Assuming they have a coastal city. Uh, any of these that I need? Probably not. I guess I'll try to go for Chichen Itza, just because it has happiness. I seem to have a happiness problem. So I will attempt to get that. Go and I found it. Askia, the Great of Songhai. And I know he obviously seems like a warring nation. I've used them I have used them before. And they are huge with gold, although it looks like they're not doing too doing too well with the gold, so. Um Yeah, there it is. There it is. Wow, what's going on here? I can't seem to destroy that one barbarian encampment. I need to spam as many cities as I can near this guy, because um, I get the feeling he's going to try to do the same. So I need to get ahead of him on that on that count. <laughs> Oops, sorry for that. Um, let's see. Uh, technology. Go. Just go that way. Where is he hiding? Uh, that's fine. I don't see him getting any closer, so... Ah, he built the great lighthouse. Now, could he be using the same strategy as me? Has he realized that I am unreachable by land and that he should attack me via the waters? Uh, maybe. Maybe he has realized that. Uh, that would be pretty impressive. Then again, we are an emperor. Which I'm pretty sure they get some crazy perks. As in, maybe start off with two or three cities within the first few turns, which would be absolutely remarkable, but we don't have that luxury. 
Uh, let's see. You know what? Since this, I already feel it's going to be a drawn out battle, I'm going to go patronage. Because I want city states to be my allies. Especially on Emperor. City states are also overpowered. Gosh! My coastal city is landlocked. I need to build a, co build a coastal city somewhere else. It's probably going to be on this side. That is frustrating. Um, city states are also overpowered in this game. And they are great great if they are your allies not only do you get votes you get a lot of you got a lot of extra perks um, yes and they give you science so if they all if you can manage especially in a game like this if you just want to beat them on Emperor if you can manage to uh, get them all to be your allies or your friends it is definitely worth it it gives you a great science boost. Science boost. It's a strat. You get to go a different strategy. I definitely try it, and it works for me right now. Um, but yeah, so this is the route I'm gonna go. Uh, I do like this barbarian encampment being here because I feel like they are blocking potential cities that they are trying to build. Built Chichen Itza. I will now build the settler. Whatever it is, I want land. I need a coastal city, and I want it over here. I definitely want it over here. Hopefully, he hasn't built on this side yet. Oh, of course, there's a. Of course, there's a city state nearby, which is fine. That does make it a little tricky. There's two. There's two city states there. I definitely need to research that or search that area more. Um, now, uh, again, from what I've heard, tithe is the way to go, especially if you can get your religion to many cities. This one, I'm not 100% sold on. What's the best? Some people say pagodas or one of those faith buildings that you can buy, get happiness, which is also great. Uh, hmm. Early on, I know production actually seems really good, 15% increase. I mean, I love deal. I love getting deals when they're 15% off, so why wouldn't I love a deal that gives me 15% extra production? Like, come on. Um, that seems like that could be pretty huge in the long run, even in the short run. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pick World Wonders. Faith for World Wonders? Actually, Pagodas might be. I have three cities, I'd get six. I'm going to go with Pagodas. Wait, do I have any... I forget what I have in my land. Silk. Silk and cotton. Let's just go... I'm just going to make this easy. Tithe and Pagodas. Two Faith, two Culture. More with wine and incense. I don't have Pagodas. Two Faith, two Culture. Plus two Happiness. Keep it simple for myself. Uh, yeah, let's go with guilds. Although, yeah, let's go with guilds. Let's just heal. So this area that I thought was uh, fantastic doesn't seem as fantastic anymore just because there are some city-states near here. Doesn't seem terrible if I build here. I'm in reach of the horse, sheep, copper, iron, what can you want? Any more of these? I'm gonna try to spawn out some religion. Let's go with Hagia Sophia. Oh, I could just build my empire up, but I also still I do I do want to get closer to to Gao. Looks like I might be spawning a lot of cities in this game, and that's normally not the route that I want to go, but in this case, looks like we are going that route. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do increase my standing with all city states to level 20. That'll be good for the long run. Rabbit again. Let's just try to get Colossal. 
Let's just try to get it. If we don't get it, I'm not upset. We're doing it. Oh man, they're spawning a lot of boats out here. They have built the Temple of Artemis. <laughs> That's fine. Looks like some of the cities... Oh, Alhambra. That's one that everyone loves go for, especially if it's going to be a late game. Alhambra gives your units that you build out of that city, I think, a blitz promotion, which allows you to attack twice. So that's extremely valuable. Extremely valuable. Um, eh. I'm never too upset when I don't get it, but I enjoy getting it, so... Yeah, there's that. Let's take that barbarian encampment out. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. Might be a bad idea. I feel like they might have taken some settlers or provided some settler blockage. Uh, there we go. Uh huh. Four gold to Lhasa. That's fantastic. <sighs> Fez is growing. Just put this guy in automatic. Looks like he's going, making his way towards Fez. It's great. Good work. I need to build some more workers as well. So many things that I want to do, and that's actually one of the pitfalls you can have, especially when you're playing against human players. They'll take advantage of that. This tendency to build as many wonders as you can, and just city build without building an army. I have no army, but I know. Oh, I don't know 100%. I'm pretty confident that Gao can't reach me, so. I don't necessarily have to build a large defense, but yes, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this copper just because I don't want the city-states reaching their grubby little hands and taking it, which they do, especially if I'm not paying attention. Uh, let's see, market. Ooh, let's go ahead and do... Mm, Let's just go ahead and do a library. I think science. Aha! Nice. Uh, you got some good production in that city, which is fan flipping tastic. There we go. I'm just going to upgrade my religion. And now we can do another follower's belief. Uh, I like doing plus two faith world wonder because I get the feeling I'm going to build a lot of world wonders and this is going to give me a lot of faith I'm going to do it hopefully I have a lot of world wonders I tend to lose track um nope it's enticing missionaries are cheaper than great profits uh that's kind of nice. That's uh I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one here. Twenty five yeah, I I like it. I hate when my profits don't go to a city and convert something instantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one. I'm now getting twenty three faith per turn, which is great. I'll be able to build a profit in no time. Actually, I'm gonna switch my. Look at that. Look at that. How cheap that missionary is. 130. 130 faith. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna keep. Wow. Let's do that. I'm gonna keep spawning wonders. As long as they're letting me. I don't see why not. Get as much as I can. As many as I can. become these guys there. I want to become their friend. It's just pledge to protect. I see the computer pledge to protect every city-state. What's the harm? No harm, no foul. Uh, here we go. Great scientist. I'm gonna drop him. I'm gonna make... I feel like it's definitely early enough in the game. There is a certain point where you shouldn't improve your tile. I don't know what point that is. I know he gives me about 10 extra science per turn, which right now I'm getting 49, so if I'm at 50 and it increases to about 60, I feel like that's an incredible deal. Uh, yeah, let's spread my religion out. Huh? Who's attacking? Uh-oh. Run away. 
plus eight science. Definitely do that all day. All day. Oh my goodness gracious. Somehow this map. Oh wait, no, I have failed to consider that I can go east to west. But it is a little frustrating that now my coastal city that I was wanted to spawn near them is landlocked on this side of the on this side of the world. So I can't even send. I have to wait till I get deep astronomy, where I can have boats or ships go over deep water. Because I cannot do that right now. I guess that's what I was kind of planning in the first place. Still a little frustrating. But this is good, you guys can see me see to build. Reasons for me building my cities, mm, kind of what I'm building. Really, I follow the recommendations pretty pretty closely. Where do they want me to build? Fez? Fez. Ah, thank you for building that Coliseum. It hasn't done enough, but it has done something. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, let's build a shrine. Just give myself more faith, huh? Let's heal you, little trireme. And let's send you, little missionary, to Rabbit. Rabat. Rabat. Spread my religion a bit. This will be good for getting more gold, more followers. Comes in very useful. Um, I like sending my missionaries somewhere outside of the borders of where they're going because they do die by attrition and not in my own borders of course but if they're going into somebody else's borders and you don't have open borders they do die by attrition so um, yes I send them and they send a block for some reason two turns I won't be able to get next to the capital even though if I do stop there I don't think you'll get too much attrition right away but I'm never in a big rush to send my missionaries in I'll just wait till the one turn when I can comfortably uh, send him in and I know he won't die by attrition. Nice, I got, I've got the Colossus. Why is this place starving? Maybe because I got rid of all the trees. <laughs> uh, very nice. I've spent that missionary. We now have a few cities following Taoism, which is grand. Uh, this city needs some spoon feeding, huh? Uh, let's just try to take some more wonders. I don't mind if I lose uh, a citizen here. Maybe. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to try to build things that they do not have and that I don't necessarily need. Let's go ahead and do Mausoleum Pelicarnassus. Seems like something the computer would build. Ah, unfortunately, they have a trireme, an enemy trireme waiting to confiscate my beautiful um, my beautiful cargo ship that I've made so I will eliminate him, perfect I can also send him to Lhasa, great now I'm making some gold this is fantastic there we go, search some areas I still need a lot more workers Ah, Songhai has built Alhambra. What did I decide to build? Uh, what did I just build? I don't know what I just built. I feel like I should have built Alhambra, but it's okay. We're going to do a naval battle, and I will destroy them using my navy. Uh, let's go ahead and build Bora Bador. Uh, and it's because I am, I should no longer really need to focus on missionaries. I will now build pagodas. They'll give me some happiness, some extra faith. That'll be nice. There we go. Take them out. This is now. This is good. We got some city-state allies. Things are kind of coming together. There we go. Oh, Wales. This seems like a nice... Again, another place next to a mountain. Are all my cities next to mountains? Except for rabbit. Damn you, rabbit. Um, yeah, this is very nice. Cities will be next amount. If I can build a city here, I have Gal really locked in to building only a couple cities, depending how far they reach out. I think that would be a good... Now that I have nine happiness, I think I will build a city here, and eventually a city here. 
so I can take advantage of having some quick production of boats. Hmm. Who wants to build? Who am I? Fez. I am now Fez. Uh, let's just do a circus. And at this point, since I don't want to concentrate too much on Fez, I will start a queue for the city. So you do that by going into your city, clicking show queue, add queue, and I tend to follow the recommendations, mm, but for some reason I love building buildings. So I will build a lighthouse, market, harbor, workshop, temple, boom. I didn't give it too much thought. Some thought circus is the one I'm building for happiness, but really that's as in-depth as I, as I like to go sometimes. There we go. Let's just heal you up, little buddy. Ah, Fez. Very nice. Welcome to the religion of Taoism. I probably should send this missionary to bigger cities. Uh, something about having my cities all follow my religion. It's just kind of nice and pretty. So I'll send it to my place first. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, I probably should build a settler next. I really want this area to make sure that Gao does not get that area. Um, maybe I can build even closer to him. Then we could start a land war. That would be mighty nice. How much land does he have on his end? He has now built the great mosque of the Jin. Of Jin. Not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Astronomy. Let's just do it. Let's just get it. Let's just get it out of the way. Send a reinforcement just in case there's a settler coming up. Monaco, why aren't you my friend? Because you're friends with... <gasps> Building the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus is perfect. Now the reason I don't follow too many quests is because I feel like they kind of just land in your hands. They really do. So hopefully I can get uh, this Mausoleum of Halicarnassus to go ahead and uh, give me that quest and I build it before they build it. I still need more workers. I have not built workers, but I'm getting extremely greedy here with these wonders. Extremely greedy with these wonders. Look how greedy I am. I'm going for the <laughs> I'm going for the army. I definitely don't need it. Yet yeah, I'm going for it. Let me send my army of missionaries to the cities of the east. Here we go. Let's check out the score. Oh, so I tend to be doing, I seem to be doing alright actually. I assume they would be building a lot quicker and stronger than I am. Maybe I'm a little better than I thought, maybe not. I've, I've had trouble against Emperor before. Um, probably because I try to expand or try to destroy them right away and it stops my production, but I've built four cities, which is the magic number that everybody will tell you to build. I've done it. Just kind of out of circumstance, I wanted to attack them quickly, and everywhere I built, I saw these beautiful places to build cities. So I don't know, it kind of just happened. But I guess it, it, it's definitely recommended. I normally wouldn't build more than four. My city sense ten, seems to be holding up really well. I have nine happiness. I don't really. If I have happiness, normally to me that tells me I uh, can build another city. Um, just having high happiness is great overall but in this case I want to be greedy and take as much land that I can so that Askia the great of Songhai uh, cannot build anything so that's kind of how I'm going that's how I'm going with it uh, this guy here I will also just begin a queue add to queue Ugh, I don't like that they're not recommending they're recommending workers you know what I'll throw out a worker in there that's fine do it. Uh, shrine, walls, grain, coliseum, boom. As simple as that. Let's go, my little army of missionaries. Fantastic. Things are going well. Things are going great. For now, at least. There we go. Let's keep our missionaries safe from any pillaging barbarians. Uh. Oh, very nice. Ah, they seem to be sending out some missionaries of their own. It's a little surprising to see that, um... Oh, I've lost my happiness. Ugh. I want to give them money, but not yet. 
Um... Yeah, I was at nine happiness a moment ago. My building, my did I sell? Ugh, I said I was gonna build a settler, and I haven't built it. I decided to go. With, I quickly changed my my mind in this game. They seem pretty weak. I'm gonna throw it out there. They seem very weak. I almost feel as if I should attack them with my spearmen and my crossbowmen because they only have axemen. Uh, did I put this? Did I put it on emperor? Is it on settler? I accidentally put on Settler thinking I'm playing on Emperor. This is insane to me. Although those barbarians attack me like they are on Emperor, I'm not gonna lie. These city-states are pretty advanced like if they're on Emperor also. Maybe not. I don't know. This is a little bit mind-boggling. Again, I'm going to just get greedy with it. Nah, 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 nah. Just get greedy. Because they are allowing me to be a greedy mother effer. Alright, here we go. Uh, no, there's a river here, so this guy's gonna end up having to deal with uh, malnutrition anyways. Is it attrition? Malnutrition? He's gonna have to deal with attrition either way. I got the Terragotta army. Look at that. Didn't even need it. And now I have a little home base of homies here. Let's just send you out over there to make sure no barbarians are spawning there. Uh, let's just... I'm gonna send these guys over here. Maybe I can declare war on them and then just send a catapult. I did not think I'd be able to do this, but still 12 turns away. Eh. Are right, these... Oh, Anchor Watt. Dang it. You know what? I can live without Anchor Watt. I need workers. I need a settler. I need to send a settler over there, too. That'll help out tremendously. I still need to build two settlers, so... Oh, man. I might just... I just might attack them. Lost all his moves. Send you there. Let's just follow. And footsteps. Uh, here we go. All city states will provide extra science bonus. So I always, this is one thing I like to do. Right now I'm at 79 science. I think I have two allies. So I want to see how much science they give me. And it's 25% of what they get. So it normally gives me a pretty good boost. So anything, even at this point, 10 or more, would be incredible amount of science to be getting. And they have given me... Well, ten or more would have been incredible. I got five. But, I'm really close to being allies with these other city-states. So at this point, it might be beneficial to pay them off. Um, especially if I go to war with them. Oh, that'd be the best. Which, actually, I just might. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Alright, there we go. Dang it. I just need to have some warriors building up. Nothing that... Nothing that my crossbowman and my spearman can't do. Um, can't handle. Uh, this guy's gonna try to steal some text from me. I don't want him catching up to me. Actually, I'm assuming I'm in the lead. I like to take different demographics a lot. And look at this. I have a better army than him. He just has a lot of soldiers. They're not very well equipped. He has axemen and bowmen. I'm gonna attack. I have to attack. I have to attack, but I have to attack in unison. Take out one of these guys and take out another and go from there. Come on, Sansa Bar. Yes. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, very nice. I don't even know what to do with this last guy. I wish I could reach him, but it's like a little bit of a lost cause. May purchase with faith. Uh, remind me later, definitely. Save for great profit, sure. Uh, here we go. I built my Setla. Let's just build Inkawa. I don't want to be distracted right now. I think I have enough. Let's go there. I think I have enough to attack and destroy. I might just send these in to try to distract them during their war. Oh man. Ooh, I waited too long. They now have. Oh, my guy's gonna die. I'm gonna pay Zanzibar. So that all the city states are at war with him. I waited 
waited too long. I waited too long. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, use up my missionaries because now they are a distraction. Ugh, they've turned all their <laughs> axemen, god damn it, into um, into their upgraded selves. I got rid of one, but they took out my spearmen, which is extremely unfortunate. There we go. Uh, now my army of crossbowmen and pikemen doesn't seem as strong. Let's just keep you there. Keep you there. I don't want barbarians at this point spawning and destroying my capital and all the things that I've worked hard to build. I'm just gonna go ahead and plop my my um. Wow. Wow, my guy might be dead. Plop all my guys down. When you get there. Sorry, give me one second. If I decide to leave that part in, that's my cat jumping through the window. I had a letter out of my room. Uh, here we go. Oh man. Take out my crossbow. I waited, really, I waited too long. I should have done it quickly. Now I'm at war. I have no army going towards it. Yes, this is great though. They are attacking that city state, which in this case is fantastic because. Um, where should I build? I could build. Let's just build it there. Ooh, they've made peace with somebody. I refuse to allow them to make peace. So I will pay the big bucks to keep these allies. Now, I don't know how long I can support this, but I will do my best to keep that up. Uh, ugh. Oh man, that's one thing that I know about the computer, is that they get way too many, or it seems like, maybe it's just my imagination, they get way too many um, promotions. They seem to heal 50, um, 50 uh, health instantly, to me it seems. Um, but here we go, maybe these guys can really hold down the fort. Yes, I got them. Uh-oh. Probably a poor excuse. Ooh, and it's happened. It has happened. Can I open it? No. Oh. There it is. I didn't save it. Things were getting good. I don't know if I can use that, but hey, well maybe it ended up being shorter than I thought. Um Hmm. Yep, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know what else I can go over. I think I was going to be able to whittle their army down. I was in the lead. I was building every wonder that I wanted. It's just going to have to be the next one I put up. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Next time, if you give me a like or something or a comment that tells me to save a game so that I can make continue the game for you, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I do look forward to making more videos if people like the content that I'm putting out so go ahead and just let me know you don't have to like it but I don't know to make more videos unless somebody asks and if really if one person asks then I'll go ahead and make it but uh but thanks yeah appreciate it thanks for watching uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side